Pisces, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Pisces, this is 100% an energy reading. It is not a horoscope. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Mer wherever Pisces energy influences your natal chart or influences your life if you're dealing with a Pisces. This is all about you. Uh, this is just the beginning. So there's always an extended reading to this video. Please do check it out because it's so gushy and delicious. It's over um, It's over on Vimeo. So please do check it out. It is a full tarot card spread. And basically what it does is it articulates and picks up on specifics, gets into the nitty gritty and the, and, and the players on the board of this reading here. And it also includes a full romantic reading as well. So, um, um, there's a new video that comes out every single week for you guys. Um, if you subscribe to the channel and you ring that bell, you'll get the notifications as soon as they're uploaded. So please do. Pisces, let's get into your energy. This is Pisces energy. Be generous of spirit. Leo, are you dealing with a Leo? Are you, is your life looking up? This is a sense of self-confidence and future. A sense of maybe even, not arrogance, but, um, Hold on. No, this is confidence. This is feeling good. This is feeling good with the heart chakra. I've been getting this energy for you guys. No, last week was a little bit difficult, I, I should say. A rebirth is assured. So no, nothing is changing. This is a sense of being where you want to be. So this is the energy that's crowning your reading. Being with who you want to be with and being where you want to be in the life that you want to live. Now, this could very well be you feel stuck where you are right now, but the future looks bright. When you're looking into the future, it could very well be that you feel like you are where you want to be, or for some of you, it's a little claustrophobic and you're feeling a little bit stuck. So let's get into what you're dealing Yeah, Check this out. This is you are never alone. Four plus two equals six. This is definitely romance. And no, this is not a romantic reading, but there is something going on in the state of Pisces. Uh, that's got to do with the heart space, the heart chakra. What did I say? Something is caught up in your heart chakra. Something is stuck. Now, it could very well be you are stuck on some bad. They pass these. There is an energy here that says love, relationships, togetherness, health, healing, um, feeling good, uh, ner just, just whole, feeling whole, having somebody that you really connect with in your life or knowing what you want in your life, being very, very certain, but simultaneously feeling very, very stuck. But no, I'm getting, honestly, I'm getting more of, it's a beautiful energy. It's almost like, um, it's almost like being exactly where you want to be. That's what this energy is, being with who you want to be with, being exactly where you want to be, loving where you are right now. Um, yeah, slow and steady wins the race. Pisces, this is an energy of a destiny. So you have been moving toward this for a long time, um, finding a partner that you can go long term with, that you feel really secure with. This is like King of Cups energy, as somebody who is emotionally stable, who helps to stabilize you, who doesn't just give their love away to anybody, but has selected you or the person that you're with is somebody that's reliable, that you can be vulnerable around and open up around. This could also be a sense of you I don't feel like this person is new but you could be meeting somebody new this is your energy you could be dealing with a cancer you could be dealing with a Leo this is your energy of feeling like everything is good of feeling like there is enough around you everything that you need you have your emotions are very stable and it's also a sense of this connection this connection through emotions this connection through water uh, maybe coming to the surface being curious about somebody it's just this beautiful playful energy it's almost like something is coming to the surface and that something is a beautiful exposure of a of feeling. Uh, somebody that you can feel vulnerable around, that you don't have to feel 
it's like just the right feeling of being safe, of, of feeling balanced. Uh, you know, you don't, you have your shell, you have that protection, you have somebody who will protect you, but simultaneously it's not heavy, it's not weighted down, it's not sucking you down. So this is the energy of feeling like your life is right, feeling like there is a balance finally, um, feeling really good and really fulfilled in your, it, not only with something external or a partner, but also with yourself. So something that you have been engaging with has been really helping you. Uh, there's, there's just a lot of excitement. I feel just a lot of um, newness, freshness, new opportunity coming to the surface. Now, this is this is your, your central energy. So I feel like, A, it's been you have been addressing those problems that have been building inside of you for a long time. You've been actually addressing them and confronting them. And that's probably why your life is getting lighter and you're getting healthier. This is also a sense of something that you have been building and working on and contributing to you know, fixated on the details. It's almost like, like there's a sense of a stabilizing energy now because all the details are attended to. 555 five, five just flashed across the table. Uh, I'm sorry, flashed across um, my camera. That's change. Change. Sing your own song. What's going on? Are you, are you singing songs? This is about using your voice and speaking your truth. And this is about Gemini energy. So in a way that is very communicative or helps to share or talk about feelings that a lot of people have, a sense of being able to put something into words, being able to put complicated um, concepts into words, not only words, but words people can understand and easily um easily connect with. So this is, it's Gemini energy. It's feeling liberated. It's feeling free. It's feeling free. I feel like you have taken the bull by the horns and you have literally composed or created something all of your, on your own. And this is music. You sharing your music with the world. Um, could be sharing your opinions, but it could be sharing your songs, could be sharing whatever your creative project is, but it's, it, you're free to share it. And that's the point, or it's, it's been released. You're releasing what you really feel, which is, it maybe could be, you're going to therapy, how you're tending to the small things is you're addressing out loud, how you really feel about them. Um, you're letting what's going on inside here be known. And Pisces, that's why there's so much freedom and emotional stability is you found the courage to be able to address and call out and liberate yourself no, and call out and address those things that have been, you know, scratching inside your walls. You've been like, you've been like exterminating that shit. And because of it, you've been feeling so much more free, so much more liberated and so much more able to throw away those things that do not serve you anymore. You're past the tadpole stage. You're getting rid of those things that you were, whatever you were in the past Pisces, you're not anymore and there's a sense of you might be cutting ties with people that you had held on to for a long time but they're kind of like weigh you down it's not like because you're not a very fickle person but there's a sense of coming to a more mature stage in your life where some people can't come with you and that's that sense of like letting things go and it's almost like it's not like you're shoving somebody out of your life Instead, you're, you're letting them fall away, letting the things fall away that um, do not serve you and being able to let it go, being able to understand what needs to go and what needs to stay, staying away from the fire, not flying right into it, using your wisdom to say, no, no, I know that I'm not going to keep going to that direction. It's like staying away from the trouble. D deciding to drop the trouble, deciding to drop the impulsivity that leads you into trouble, right? Go another direction and go another route. You could also be deciding to leave a Sagittarius. If you are with a Sagittarius Pisces, there could be a sense of liberation or severing ties between you and a Sag. Um, this is an energy of truth transcends illusion, finally confronting the truth, maybe talking out loud, talking to each other. Um, maybe the truth came out. Give with gratitude and grace, energy of seven. You've been giving everything, everything to something. You have been sharing your whole self and your sincere self with the world, with your group of friends. You've put your whole self into 
communicating honestly, communicating the truth, giving the truth, sharing the truth. And this is your grounding energy, Pisces. This is an energy of, of being like literally, I've said it a thousand times, being liberated. Being liberated, the truth shall set you free. And it's almost like you're not even mad. If you are, if you are letting go of a relationship, um, maybe one that you have felt that was just like feeling, feeling blocked, maybe feeling you're stuck somehow. If you're letting that go, um, you're not letting it go in hatred. You're letting it go in peace. You're letting it go and just allowing it. In other words, allowing it, allowing it to go. I said that already. Truth transcends illusion and give with gratitude and grace. I think it's you taking the high ground is what it is. Mm -hmm. Nothing is wasted. So if there's an energy that you felt like you were put on a chopping block and made the sacrificial lamb, you're taking that and you're using it to your own advantage. And I think it's in the creative process. So in other words, you're finding a way to take pain and experiences that you've had and filter it into your creative process to make something out of it. And you've never felt so free or liberated before. That's your grounding energy. Let me flip this camera. Oh, I just saw 1111. That's total awakening. But I don't think it's just you awakening. I, no, no. You could just for the first time be trying something new. Like in other words, be trying to sing or be trying to compose music. And you've never felt so liberated and happy to be able to, to, be able to dump all of those things that were cluttering up. It's like all those things that were cluttering up your space and creating toxins in you. You have found a place to dump it all and turn it into like almost like a recycling facility turn it into something so it's the most liberating and cathartic experience you've ever had it's better than falling in love it's falling in love with your life and yourself and using the experiences that you've had that have harmed you that have hurt you you know so many times Pisces we've talked about this before you become people's dumping ground you're the sewage right everybody throws everything into the ocean all sewage runs into the ocean that's a sense of you finally being and, and you did it around this time last year too because I remember when I started readings for you it was May or June last year where you were literally detoxing so this could be a yearly cycle for you that you're finally able to detox and use all those top by using those toxins in 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 a way that helps you in a way that uh in in like in in a creative way even if you're in the medical field it's like using all your experiences and using all the suffering that you've been through in the past four weeks to sort of fuel your finding a cure or going on another day that's just, that's um that's what I'm talking about there's but if there's also something that you put your whole self into and there is a sense of feeling so good, not being like it wouldn't have worked if you didn't put your whole self in and you did not waste you. It wasn't a waste. It's not going to go to waste, whether or not it, you feel like it or not. There is a sense of of being celebrated here. So hold on. I'm going to flip the camera angle around. So here is your grounding energy. See how things are not wasted a sense of finding a place, finding something to do or how to use or find the beauty in throwing your whole self in, uh, taking all parts of yourself, even the parts that you felt were the weight were waste were garbage and, and finding, finding a way to like share them and use them to create something beautiful. The central energy is tend to the small things. So it's focusing on those minute details. You could be down to like the last parts of your creative process and focusing on those intricate details, just like um, sanding things out or, or putting the finishing touches on whatever. This is a sense of crossing the T's, dotting the I's, but also sussing out those little things that have been stocked up and building up in the in your walls and being able to purge them literally exterminate them and get them out of your life declutter your life take it away like don't let things hurt you anymore walking away hold on i'm gonna sneeze walking away from stress walking away from pain walking away from hurt 
walking away from sadness, walking away from like preventing yourself from flying into the fire and crashing and burning sometimes like you do. A sense of instead finding solace in your emotions and finding a way to use your emotions, bring your emotions to the surface and talk about them or make them tangible or share them. You could be going through something right now where you are talking to a counselor or sharing what you're going through. You, you, like, you, have to, you have to just sort of lay yourself bare in order to suss through those things and see what needs to go and what needs to stay. This has been a recurring theme in all of my readings this week where people are just like, I just saw 1515. I feel like you're working on some sort of divine partnership or soulmate or this is your sole purpose. It could be just you're, you're like, you're like if it's not a person, it could be your sole purpose in life, right? That's a sense of, of, of your, you're in tune, you're in synchronicity, you're in harmony and things are extremely balanced because you found a way to use the worst parts of yourself to to share the best parts of yourself or to turn it into use the best parts of your use the worst parts of your experiences I don't even know the words to say I'm so sorry Pisces use the worst of your experiences to turn like turn them into uh, or to demonstrate the best parts of yourself Using your worst experiences to demonstrate the best parts of yourself, maybe to show your kindness, to help people heal, to guide people, to protect people, to share with people, to ease pain. This is, this is healing yourself and feeling really, really good about those things that you had once kept hidden. And now you're sharing. This is a big reveal for you and a huge emotional, uh, catharsis, um, I want to go over, let's go into the extended. I'm going to hash out more details. I hope you join me because this is a really beautiful energy, Pisces. And then we have this, the romance reading. I'll see you guys over there.